I'm Elliot, and I love to travel, but with everything that's happened in 2020, it's hard to say when I will cross another border. With that being said, I do have this itch, and lately I've found myself on Google Maps just wandering around. It doesn't really compare with the real thing, but it's still fun to do, so I thought I'd share my experience in this new series called Google Maps Adventure. So join me and my pegman as we explore Google Maps Street View in the safety of our homes. Let's go. Welcome to the first episode of Google Maps Adventures with me, Elliot, the driver of this crazy tour bus that is Google Maps. How should I begin the first episode of Google Maps Adventures? What part of the world should I explore? What city should I explore? And I decided, I should start close to home. I should explore my home city, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, which is where I am right now, if you can't tell. So let's do that. Let's head to Vancouver, British Columbia. So here we are. I love the city. I can't think of a better place in the world to call it your home base to, if I had to be stuck anywhere during a pandemic. I'm very fortunate to be stuck here uh, because I do truly love it and on any any normal year I would do a lot of exploring. Um, I'm not really sure where to begin but I figured I'd begin on a very cusp of Vancouver. Uh, Burnaby is actually where I spent most of my teenage years so I have, I have a lot of good memories in Burnaby, which is just right beside Vancouver here. So what I used to do back before, um, back before YouTube and all this stuff, I, I used to do a lot of walking with my friends. Um, we weren't old enough to go to bars, we didn't have money to do anything cool. So what we would do is we would just walk around. And I would like to share that route with you today, a part of the route. Let's just try to make a way downtown from this route. And um, route, route, I'm gonna say route. Uh, so let's just, let's just do it. I'm gonna grab my peg man and we're gonna just drop it right here. Where am I? You know, <laughs> I'm never exactly confident where I dropped the peg man even if I'm looking for someplace specific. Okay, so this area, uh, this is, I'm, I'm on Hastings right now. This is Hastings Street. And Hastings Street is pretty cool because there's a few major roads in Vancouver that could kind of take you around the city. All you need to do is, you, you need to know these roads. So if you're in Burnaby, all you need to know is Hastings, Willingdon, Lougheed and like Kingsway. Those are the main roads you need to know. Maybe Marine Drive, but not really. If you know those key roads, you could get into Vancouver. Whereas in Vancouver, you need to know Hastings, um, Broadway, Main Street, and um, Kingsway, kind of. Not really. But if you know Broadway and uh, Hastings, you could kind of kind of get to the key spots, which is like SkyTrain stations and um, and key bus stops. And you could sort of make your way around the city. Broadway is kind of like that too. Broadway is kind of busy. Um, and it, you could get to all the SkyTrain stations. Uh, I'm, <laughs> let me clarify this right now. I am not a tour guide. I am just some random dude who lives in the city <laughs> his whole life. Uh, so whatever, Whatever I'm saying, like take it as you might get lost because I'm, I'm quite familiar with it, but you might not be. So I'm heading north right now. We'll head south again, but I just want to show you um, the neighborhood that, that I grew up in, my hood. And this, this here that we're kind of just rushing through is the um, Burnaby Heights uh, neighborhood. And it's it's a it's a delightful neighborhood, and uh, a lot of good memories here. It's kind of um, it's got its like kind of 
the restaurant district, got not really a shopping district. It's more very residential. Um, it's kind of low key, but it's got it's got a lot of character to it. And once a year, I believe it's June first or something, they block off the road and they have an event called Hats Off Day. Fun fact: I used to work at this Starbucks right here. So a lot of good memories in this place, but let's head in the other direction. Direction. Uh, let's head westward, back down Hastings. Let's start at Hastings um, because that's just a fun place to start. Uh, this episode is going to be a little bit different be just because I'm kind of familiar with this city. Um, in my upcoming episodes, I'm going to visit cities that I'm not too, too familiar with, so it's going to get weird. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but... Um, I've never seen this store before, but the idea of this, this project that I'm doing here is just to see different things, not exactly to rush through it as I was doing previously. I just wanted to show you a few different things, but okay. So here is, uh, Boundary Street, uh, boundaries, as you can tell by the street name, separates Burnaby. From Vancouver so once we cross this right here we're technically in Vancouver now and uh, Oscar pub Greg if you're watching this you know what this place means <laughs> that's an inside joke that's an inside joke from my buddy Greg big fan of this channel so shout out uh, yeah anyways now we're technically in Vancouver um, if you're visiting the city, odds are you would very, it's very unlikely that you would travel this far east. You would probably try to stay in the downtown area, but I would say give it a shot. Come up to Burnaby. Come up to Burnaby. Visit Metro Town. <laughs> uh, if you're into malls. What is, what is this gas price? One forty nine. I think this is pretty up to date. I, it's hard to tell uh, when when they update this map, right? But if it's 149, gas prices right now is at 120-ish. <laughs> Before the pandemic, gas prices here were at like 160. It was absolutely ridiculous. So can't have everything. Okay, so we're still on Hastings. And uh, if you take this freeway entrance, you'll head into North Vancouver. Um, this McDonald's, a lot of memories at this McDonald's. <laughs> this is the Cassiar connector. It's like a tunnel. If you go oh, this way, uh, it'll take you southbound towards more Burnaby, 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 and then like Coquitlam and into the outreaches of Vancouver suburbs. Ah, uh, but up ahead, <laughs> this is a delightful, I also like, to, like seeing this, uh, this Google Maps car, just, just riding it. Um, this is, oh, I, I think I just drove into a parking lot. Let me just get out of here. Okay, so... This up ahead is, um, this is Peony. This is Playland, technically, which is our, I guess you'd call it, like, a theme park slash, like, city fair, county fair. It's not a county, but city fair. Um, so once a year, during the summertime, Playland opens a little earlier, and then uh, Peony. Peony happens for... I think two, three weeks at the end of summer. Playland opens at like the very beginning of summer, like March or April. And it's just full of rides. I don't know if I could go into it or anything. Um, I'm going to click into it. I guess not. We'll just look at it from out here like a, like a sad, sad kid looking into Disneyland. Um, so, <laughs> funny story. I used to work at the Peony. I used to... Um, work as patrol like like patrol
controlling the uh, the grounds. Uh, my only job really is to carry a walkie-talkie and point uh, for people in the direction of the bathrooms. Now and then a kid would get lost and it would be really stressful for me to deal with and I try to avoid those scenarios as much as possible. Avoid any responsibility. Just recognize where the bathroom is and point in that direction. That's what I try to do. This is what the buses look like in Vancouver. And uh, that is our local radio station version 94.5 yeah <laughs> these are these are fun fact i also like it when a uh, google maps kind of like interlace different days it's like it's like sunny here and then it's suddenly like a, a a rainy vancouver day if you've ever been to vancouver on um on any day that isn't like July or August, you probably like you're gambling right now that it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. Um, it's really not so bad. You you really do get used to it living here. Um, yeah. So we've passed Playland. We're still just going down Hastings. Uh, yeah. So we're heading towards a neighborhood. This right here is called Sunrise. Sunset? Sunrise. I think it's Sunrise. Because it's east. It's the eastern part of Vancouver. Therefore, the sun is rising. As you can see, um, there's not too, too much going on here. And uh, this uh, neighborhood and the the neighboring neighborhood, which is Strathcona, which we're entering uh, very soon. Traffic can be bad on Hastings, like very bad sometimes, uh, especially during the winter when it's like snowy and stuff. It's just a nightmare, <laughs> an absolute nightmare. Okay, so let's just keep going here. This truck is blocking it, but that's Value Village, <laughs> which is a thrift store. Very popular. Um, I pass it. So here we are at Commercial Drive. We're at the very north point of Commercial Drive. If you've been to Vancouver, this is like a very trendy neighborhood to come to. Um, what is good about it? What is good about it? A lot of great restaurants and just a very, it's a, it's a little hectic of a community. It could get a little hectic as a street can get, um, but it's, it's like probably the hippest place in Vancouver, which is saying a lot. Um, it's gotten some good, good street cred as being a very fun neighborhood to live in. Uh, I don't necessarily disagree. But, okay. But the northern part is kind of just, like, people live there. But the, this part, the middle of it, is, um, there's a lot of restaurants here. Uh, the sushi restaurant I go to quite often. Mm. I spent a lot of time here. Uh, yeah, just keep following these people. I always like uh, just looking at people in that in Google Maps. <laughs> it's like they had no idea what's going on. No idea that I see them. I, I I would like to see myself in Google Maps one day. I really do. 
So liquor store, always know where the liquor stores are. Very important. There's one back there. Oh, I got disoriented. Mm. Sorry, now I'm on a commercial drive. So, you know what? First half um, is just the main artery for driving. I drive down this road a lot. Uh, going into downtown, I like, oh, where was that guy? That was the guy just popping a squat. I, I, this guy right here. <laughs> oh, wait, there's also a guy waving. There was a guy in the, uh, there he is. Is he waving at us? <laughs> this guy right here. The real champ. Um, you know what? Let's take let's take first half. We're we're no going in no. This uh, this I guess mentioned. I'm not really like giving a tour. This is just a fun thing to do. It feels like traveling, kind of. You know, zooming by. Wasn't really sure how this is gonna turn out. This is how it's looking at the moment. Another rainy portion. It feels like it's raining, but also sunny. It's very strange weather that we're having in Vancouver. In this Google Maps experience, they're doing construction. This guy's got some construction gear. Clark Drive is, um, this is not a road you want to fall asleep on because Trucks, a lot of trucks. There's a couple of trucks there. Not too many. You can see a couple in the distance. But on a regular day, the, a lot of trucks roll on by. Oh, suddenly it's raining again. It's very strange. So, so here's a little overpass. It just it goes over some train tracks and uh, warehouses and that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, if you are local to Vancouver, this drive is probably one of the um, main arteries into downtown Vancouver that you would take. Uh, the first, first Ave turns into Terminal. There's the, some famous storage depots. Keep going, keep going. And as we head towards this direction, you see this up here in this, that's a SkyTrain station. Um, but as we head in this direction, we will probably see one of the Vancouver's iconic buildings. I'm not going to tell you which one, but you, you could probably guess which one it, it is. Right there, right there, baby. That's the Expo 86 Science World. Um, if you're coming to Vancouver, you're probably going to see this. Uh, it's kind of the, I, I would say pretty iconic to uh, Vancouver's landscape. That's uh, Science World. And if you head up this way, you'll go up Mount, to Mount Pleasant. And if you head down this way, we will head towards downtown and uh, Chinatown and downtown east side. So let's, let's go this way, why not? Let's get on this the safe side of the road. And drive on the left side. Uh, yeah, Science World, this is False Creek area. It's a beautiful area. I absolutely love it. Um, I used to live very close, like walking distance to it, and just seeing it during sunset or sunrise, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if I could get onto the seawall, but the seawall loops all around it, and it's just one of the absolutely best features of Vancouver. I can't get over it. I absolutely can't. It's it's hard to believe that I live in some, some place. Like, I'm, I feel so fortunate sometimes when I think about Vancouver. It's like, I'm so fortunate to be in this city out of all the cities in the world. Um, so now we're entering Chinatown, which is a neighborhood that 
is as controversial as it gets in the city. Uh, it's historic. Um, it's also got a lot of pushback in terms of gentrification and homelessness and just everything. <laughs> like the, in terms of the pandemic, um, Chinatown really suffered, and I was living here for a while. I no longer do. And um, Kiefer Street. Uh, this is the Kiefer Bar. Uh, absolutely one of the best bars in Vancouver, probably in the world. If you're visiting the city and if you're really into cocktails, uh, please come. During the pandemic, they actually build an outdoor area in this empty lot right beside where this lady is standing. Um, they were just so resourceful that they absolutely made it happen. And um, it's, it's amazing when you see a business just like figure it out, just, just make it happen. Um, so yeah, we just zoomed up. This is the Chinatown. Let's go down this way. Now we're on Main Street. Main Street will take you, like I mentioned, across a very specific part of the city. Um, mainly from the downtown east side, which we're heading towards. You'll see some police cars here. And there's a lot of police presence in this area because uh, up ahead is the police station. Um, it's also one of, one of the major homeless um, epicenters in the city. It's, I think it's one of the most shocking neighborhoods to arrive at when you're not familiar with Vancouver and you're just wandering and if you're just a tourist and you're just like seeing the city and you've got your binoculars or whatever you have um, and you wander into the downtown east side, it could be very jarring and unnerving. Um, I was actually wandering around this neighborhood uh, on Google Maps the other day and <laughs> I can tell what people are doing. Sometimes I, I want to find people who are acknowledging the um, the the Google the Google car. Okay, I'm driving against traffic, but I believe I found like okay, we're just driving down an alley right now, and um, you could just kind of get an idea of the situation here. But there's one specific character that I want to show you because. Uh, Talk about, like, people acknowledging, look at this, this is crazy, these barbed wires, like, uh, as you can see, it's, like, kind of a crazy crisis that we're having right here. This guy right here. <laughs> I found him. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, it makes me so happy. <laughs> these are these are the absolute gems of um, wandering around Google Maps. And um, Hastings and Maine is a notoriously crazy neighborhood in terms of um, the homeless situation just because there's just some shelters around here and some, I'm, I'm not sure what they're called, but the community centers where these you know, homeless people could just be around and be around other people and just kind of do their thing. And yeah, so this this is the, the main core of downtown east side. Um, honestly, an awesome area to visit. I know how it looks. I know how it feels. During the pandemic, it's probably not the best time to go. Um, during normal world, if you are there during the daytime, it's super safe. I, honestly, nothing bad generally happens. There's just people minding their own business, doing their thing. They just need a place to be. They really don't have anywhere else to be. So they're not there to necessarily bug anybody. They just have nowhere else to go. So I think it's important to have some sympathy for these people, especially when in times of crisis, like we are in now. 
So now we're back on Hastings. We're back on Hastings. We kind of took like a weird loop around the city. So now we're back on Hastings and um, we're heading west westward deeper into downtown Vancouver. And why not? Let's, let's go there. Uh, let's actually take a turn here because there's Chinatown, there's downtown East Tide, there's kind of like the rail town area, there's Strathcona, which is more residential um, houses, like detached housing um, eastbound. But we're entering another historic neighborhood here, and this is Gastown. Um, Gastown's historic, it's one of the first uh, neighborhoods in Vancouver. Uh, I used to work down here, I used to come down here every day. Uh, I took it for granted. <laughs> Definitely took it for granted. Uh, oh God, this, this, this son of a bee. This is a steam clock. <laughs> this is the Vancouver steam clock, world famous. I don't, just look at all these fucking fools. <laughs> these dummies just looking at a clock. The thing is this clock is, the, the time is usually wrong as well. But, um, and it's not even powered by steam anymore. I think it's powered by electricity, like everything else in the world. Um, and it's really not even that old. But I don't know where it appears on like a Lonely Planet book or like in the top places to visit in Vancouver. I feel like it's one of the top. It's probably just there to get people down to Gastown. Um, but this clock always draws a crowd and every, um, every 15 minutes, it will do a little song <laughs> and shoot some steam out. Crowd goes nuts. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and if we look up that way, kind of another iconic um, image of Vancouver, and that's Harbor Center. I know it seems like I'm very knowledgeable here about this city. I can't wait till we go to like a city I know nothing about. And um, I think that will be a very different episode than this one right here. But the, please do not use this as any sort of tour guide. This is really just a hang. Um, yeah, Harbor Center, it, I don't know if it's still, I think there's a restaurant up there still. I don't know if it's still open. Like. Everything that I'm saying right now, whenever I'm referring to a business, it might have closed by the time you visit it just because of the climate that we're in. And um, that is a real shame. I hate that I have to even say that. But there's a rotating restaurant up there and you could get like a 360 view of the city. You could. There's also just um, a non-restaurant part, like a spectator part. And it's pretty great. It's pretty great. Uh, so this is Gastown, Water Street, um, world famous. If you go down that way, sorry. Uh, there's there's more Gastown that way, but we're gonna keep moving, moving this way. Uh, yeah. So a lot of. Great restaurants, great bars. Um, it's one of the best places in Vancouver for nightlife. Uh, a lot of bars, a lot of uh, clubs. If you're into that, Gastown is the place to be. And this way here, I kind of lose back on um, Cordova. And okay, so up here, it's pretty, pretty beautiful area in the city. Um, Steamworks Brewing Company. I'm actually drinking Steamwork beer right now. This is the um, flagship IPA. It's wonderful. But um, so this is a like a restaurant, restaurant and brewery. I don't know how much they actually brew in this facility here. Um, mo they do most of their brewing up in Burnaby, just where we were at the beginning. Uh, so here is right up here is the Harbor Center that 
uh, revolving restaurant area. And up ahead here, this is the Canadian Pacific Railway Station. Uh, it's really just a SkyTrain station now. Um, you could get to the train station from here. I used to live out in the outskirts of Vancouver, like in sort of suburbs, uh, Port Coquitlam area. And I would have to take the train into the city to work in Gastown every day. It was like a, an hour and a half, two hour commute, depending on the day. And uh, I would come out here and I would go back in there. And uh, if you come to this area, if you're taking the SkyTrain, this is one of the premier SkyTrain stations in the city. Uh, definitely one worth coming down to or taking to and then exploring around the neighborhood. Uh, SkyTrain in Vancouver is probably the most convenient way to travel. Um, if you, like once you're in downtown, you, you're in downtown, but if you want to travel to like Burnaby, New West, Surrey, Richmond, if you really want to, um, SkyTrain is the absolute fastest way to go without actually having a car and getting lost. And you don't really want to drive in Surrey and Richmond anyways, because they're kind of, it's kind of crazy out there. The roads don't really make sense. Um, oh, geez. So up here, you get a great view. It's one of um, my wife and I's favorite views of the city. I'm not sure if I could actually get, oh, I can. I'm like a person now. Stop being a car. So yeah, you can come down this way. Check the sales over here. This is Canada Place. And it's where the ferries dock. And over here you can see the ports. That's where import exports happen. Uh, this is where, yeah, the, not the ferries, but the cruise ships, they dock here. And if you're taking a cruise in Vancouver, odds are you're rather going to California or you're going up to Alaska. Alaska is probably the most popular one. So this is a pretty sweet view. These people are enjoying it. They got their snacks, they got their Starbucks coffee. Some picnic tables here. It's a pretty chill area. I like this area a lot. It's a nice, nice relaxing place to be. Okay, I'm still on the pedestrian road, but I'm back here. This is Hastings again. Back on the Hastings. I'm back in car form, and now we're going down Granville Street. Granville Street is probably another famous street in Vancouver. It's not a main corridor by any stretch, but it is a really good street to be on if you want to do shopping, if you want food. Um, pretty much all the way down, even crossing the Granville Street Bridge, you would get a lot of entertainment if you stick on, if you just stay on gravel. Um, yeah, so let's, let's do that. Let's head down this way for a bit. I don't know if I'm gonna get to show you everything I wanna show you in this city because I just love this city so much that I feel like I could go, there's gonna be a part two, Vancouver for sure. Um, yeah, so I'm oh, just gonna go down. This is like, uh, during daytime. Daytime is pretty chill, pretty mild. If you come here during a Friday night or a Saturday night, it gets kind of rowdy, almost too rowdy. Um, yeah, almost too much, especially when during the, during the summertime, during the height of like social distancing, people were coming down to Granville Street and they weren't social distancing. I think Halloween was a day uh, people kind of disregarded all the rules and they showed up like literally right here right where this hot dog stand is and just started having parties Like they would party on the street. Graham Street is notorious for that um, Definitely not a chill place to walk your dog Granville Street is not um, It's a lot of shopping shopping. Uh, it's also one of the you can get a crepe you can get a crepe here and uh, also on Robson, which is where we are now. 
Uh, so we've reached a fork in the road here where we could rather keep going down Granville or we could go down Robson. Uh, two very good choices, honestly, in terms of entertainment. If you go down this way towards Granville, yeah, let's just go down this way for a bit more. Uh, you get some of the main um, entertainment, live entertainment venues, such as Vogue, uh, Roxy, Roxy, and Commodore Ballroom is my absolute favorite. Uh, I think we might have passed it, but uh, just the best venue to watch a concert in the city, in my opinion. Uh, let's turn. Let's turn here. We're on uh, Nelson right now. But let's get back onto Robson. Oh, jeez. So this is the courthouse, I believe. Yeah, that looks like the courthouse. That's where law is enforced. Let's go down this way. Oh, jeez. It's hard to steer. <laughs> Alright. Smythe, did I take a wrong turn? Let's just try to get on to Burrard. So Burrard is another cool street to be on. A lot's happening here. It's it's not as fun as Granville in terms of uh, people partying in the streets. It's more of a busy road. <laughs> um, but you do have some fancy place. This is the Sutton Hotel, I believe. Sutton Place Hotel. I don't know, I've never seen a celebrity here, but apparently when celebrities come, they stay at the Sun. That's what they tell me. But I'm never around it that often. Okay, so back on Robson. So Robson Street is world famous for shopping. People like to shop here. It's kind of got this outdoor shopping vibe, different stores. Uh, if you're going to spend money, come down to Robson. It's great. And uh, so we are heading westward. I keep going this way. It's really a lot to do in Robson. On Robson, if you have money, <laughs> a lot, a lot of things to buy. And. Um, I wish I could, I want to show you some of the um, residential areas, but I don't know how much fun that would be. But I definitely want to get you down to the seawall, at least in this episode. So we're just going to hurry away there. But yeah, it seems like a longer road than it is me clicking through it, but we've gone through a lot. Oh jeez, oh no, it did the thing, I'm stuck. Google Maps has this glitch sometimes where it stops me from proceeding forward. Okay, just get this arrow. Get the, there we go. Yeah, so I wish I had more to say about Robson, but we're almost at the very end of it. It really is... Uh, a very nice place like on a summer day to walk down Robson and check out the different stores when there's no weird fucking pandemic restrictions is ab absolutely like just one of the best parts of living in a city I think the way Vancouver downtown is I know it might seem like far and I'm clicking like really fast but it's very walkable and you could probably see most of it in the course of a day uh, even even now, as in like I'm going through it, we're we're rushing through it for sure. But um, you, you could probably see the key parts of Vancouver in a three day three day visit. Uh, I encourage you to stay longer. You don't really have to. It could get boring <laughs> if you don't live here. Uh, so this this is the beach. This is English Bay, and um, beyond this point is Stanley Park, and uh, I think this is, let me, let's try to find a nice view, and uh, I will wrap this video up. So we're on Beach Ave, I actually used to work in the restaurant, 
in Stanley Park uh, when I lived in Burnaby, so I had to come all the way, literally from where we started, all the way down to this point in the map. And uh, it was always a journey, always a journey. It gets dark here, like when I work in the winter, it's like no lights at all. It's kind of scary. There's some good murder, uh, true crime stories of Stanley Park. But it's honestly one of the most beautiful places in the world. Yeah, this restaurant right here. I used to work at it. I used to be employed here, if you believe that. If you believe that. If you believe that story, and uh, let me just find a place to park. <laughs> and there we go. There we go. Let's, let's wrap it up here today. This is, I believe this is Ferguson Point. And this restaurant is the tea house. Excellent place to stop. A uh, great place to have brunch, have dinner. Uh, if you want to have a wedding, lovely spot to have it in. Just a spectacular view on a beautiful sunny day. It's no place better to be than to end up here and sitting on one of these benches and just relaxing, just taking a moment off. I, I sometimes sit right by this cement thing, just like lean up against it, use it as a backrest. Whew, wow, that was fun and also a lot of talking. I didn't expect to talk so much during the course of this video but it is a really good, good time and just kind of just scratch that travel bug that I, I have and I, you probably have too if you are stuck at home all the time and don't really get to go, go around. I think this is honestly a much cheaper form of, um, of scratching that itch. Uh, no, no 10 hour flights. No 10 hour flights. I think we can all, all appreciate that. This guy's getting out of his car. He has no idea that I'm looking at him. <sighs> well, uh, I really do want to do another video about Vancouver because there's just so much that I would like to talk about. I didn't even know until I started doing this that I had so much to say, so much to share. Uh, so much wisdom about this city that I want to share and um, I hope I'm doing it in a fun way I, it's hard to tell but I but I look forward to exploring uh, a city that I haven't been to before and just clicking around just exploring just wandering around and saying nonsense and maybe I'll do some research as I go maybe not probably not and um, maybe if you're watching this, this lady's paying for parking. If you are watching this and you're an expert on a specific city, please give me some tips of where I should go to next, what uh, destinations I should start off on or try to make my way to just to have a look at, even though it's on a screen and it's never gonna be as good as the real thing. I think we're all just trying to adjust and um, yeah, just trying, just trying new things. I think that's the important important thing that we need to do is to try new things, not be stuck in our ways because the world is evolving. I think what is happening is a warning for us that the life that we had for so long can be disrupted in literally moments. So I think we're better for it. I think those who have survived through, that will survive to the end, we will be better and more adaptive. And uh, doing stupid things like this, I think helps. I think helps the psyche. All right, so thank you for joining me on the first episode of Google Maps Adventures. Uh, I'll see you real soon, uh, maybe in a couple weeks, in a couple weeks. Episode two, where should I go to next? I think I wanna to go to New York. I think I wanna to go to New York or London. Those places, those, one of my, two of my favorite, maybe Vegas. 
Should we go to Vegas? I think we're going to Vegas. <laughs> Till next episode and find out.